The Philippines The Philippines has surpassed its tourism goal of 4.8 million international tourists. Today, we're riding the wave of triumph as the Philippines achieves an incredible milestone in tourism. Get ready fantastic viewers, because the numbers are soaring, records are breaking, and our nation is shining brighter than ever on the global stage. I'm thrilled to be your guide through this journey of positivity, where we'll uncover the details of the Philippines surpassing its tourism goals, welcoming over 4.82 million international visitors. But wait, there's more. The excitement is escalating as we head into December, the peak season, with expectations of nearly a million arrivals. The warmth of our hospitality is not just melting the winter chill, it's setting the stage for an economic boost that will make us all proud. Hello everyone! Welcome back to Fun Fact! Get ready for a burst of pride and joy as we dive into some sensational news that's about to make your day brighter. If you love positive vibes and celebrating the greatness of our beloved Philippines, you're in for a treat. Cheers to all my fellow Filipinos! The Philippines has exceeded its ambitious goal of hosting 4.8 million international tourists this year. It has not only met its target but has even surpassed it. We're incredibly proud of our nation for achieving and exceeding this goal. Breaking the amazing news, Tourism Secretary Cristina Garcia Frasco shared this triumph at the dazzling first-ever Philippine Golf Tourism Summit held at the Grand Hyatt Manila. As of November 27, 2023, our beautiful archipelago has joyously welcomed a whopping total of 4,822,530 million visitors, with a staggering 91.88% being foreign tourists, 4,430,725 to be exact. Let's not forget the 8.12%, comprising 391,805 returning overseas Filipinos, or Balakbayans, who are adding to the heartbeat of our nation. In a thrilling revelation, the Department of Tourism revealed that South Korea remains our top source market for foreign arrivals, bringing in a spectacular 1,271,602 tourists, making up a whopping 26.37% of the total. The USA follows closely behind with 797,181 tourists, or 16.53%, then Japan with 272,735 tourists, 5.66%, China with 242,107 tourists, 5.02%, and Australia with 225,464 tourists, 4.68%. Other international arrivals in the top 10 come from Canada, Taiwan, Singapore, United Kingdom and Malaysia. Our global friends are discovering the magic of the Philippines, and it's spreading like wildfire. Secretary Frosco, beaming with pride, announced, we aim for 4.8 million international arrivals by the end of 2023, and guess what? We've surpassed it with over 4.82 million international visitors. A staggering 404 billion pesos in foreign visitor receipts has graced our economy, proving once again that tourism is the beating heart of our prosperity. Hold on to your seats, because there's more good news. Our beloved tourism sector is not just a contributor, it's a powerhouse. According to the country's national economic managers, tourism has secured its spot as the second largest driver of our economic growth. Secretary Frosco shared, This cements our position as one of the strongest pillars of the Philippine economy, employing a whopping 5.35 million Filipinos in the tourism industry sector. We're not just providing jobs we're creating livelihoods and enhancing the well-being of communities across the nation. The applause doesn't end there. The Department of Tourism attributes this success to a variety of factors, including relaxed visa requirements, the creation of tourist rest areas, a groundbreaking multi-platform tourist call center, the development of tourism roads, and the growth of dive, heritage, and cultural tourism caravans. This remarkable achievement was celebrated at the grand event with the presence of esteemed tourism and golf industry leaders and stakeholders. The summit, organized by the agency's Office of Product Development of Golf Tourism and Special Projects, marks a pivotal moment in the history of Philippine tourism. 
Filipinos. Share this thrilling news with everyone around you. Let's spread the joy, pride, and positivity that our beloved country has achieved. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! The year isn't over yet, and our victory lap just keeps getting bigger. As we speak, the number of international visitors to our paradise is increasing by several thousand each day, and brace yourselves for the grand finale, the peak season of December. December, our golden month. Historically, nearly a million tourists grace our shores, escaping the winter chill from cold countries. They aren't just escaping the cold. They're bringing a tidal wave of revenue that will shower our country and local tourism industry. And guess what? Our guests aren't just passing by. They're staying longer and spending more compared to our ASEAN neighbors. The Philippines is the destination, and our guests know it. But that's not all, because our Department of Tourism is working round the clock, fast-tracking construction and upgrades across the nation. Picture this. Tourism centers in every region, designed to be a haven of convenience and joy. Additional security, travel guidance, comfy resting spots, sparkling clean comfort rooms, a snack bar, and all the amenities you can dream of, making every traveler's journey not just convenient but absolutely sensational. Now, let's set sail into the future, seaports and terminals galore. We're expecting a massive influx of cruise ship travelers, close to 200,000, mostly from the heart of Europe. The government isn't holding back. They've allocated over 1.5 trillion pesos to complete ongoing infrastructures, roads, highways, and bridges, ensuring our travel experience and crossing islands is nothing short of spectacular. And the skies? They're the limit. Airports are popping up like mushrooms, with upgrades scheduled to meet international standards for Lawag, Legaspi, Iloilo, Bacolod, Puerto Princesa, Zamboanga, General Santos, and the Cagayan de Oro Iligan Airport in Lagindingan. They will be expanded to accommodate direct flights from Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Japan, and South Korea. Brace yourselves for the grand entrance of these direct international flights, alleviating congestion at Manila's airport. Hold on to your sun hats because the future of Philippine tourism is brighter than ever. The current administration is not just supportive, they're blazing the trail. The goal? A staggering 12 million tourist arrivals by 2028. Every infrastructure development today is laying the foundation for the grand spectacle of 2028 when we'll be hosting 12 million international tourists. The Philippines isn't just a destination, it's a global sensation and the world is watching as we rise to the top. Here are the top 12 destinations in the Philippines for international visitors. 1. Metro Manila 2. Metro Cebu 3. Clark San Fernando 4. Aklan Boracay Cataclan 5. Puerto Princesa El Nido Coron 6. Davao 7. Naga 8. Santa Rosa Laguna Batangas area. 9. Iloilo. 10. Bacolod. 11. Cagayan de Oro Iligan area. 12. Surigao Siargao area. 